In this video, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful product lists for your website. And you can see I'm on a product list right here. Some other terminology you might think of as a shop page. If you've used other e-commerce systems where your website visitor goes there and sees a grid of all of your products. So we call them product lists. And I'm going to show you all the options on this and you can easily add them to your website. Let's take a look at some of the options that we have right here. You can see on the top left, we have a sorting option over here on the top right. There's a search option. Then you can see each one of these rows has three products. You'll be able to customize that if you wanted more or less. And you can see I'm showing nine products. That's also customizable. The alignment of the text, customizable as well. And then here at the bottom, we have some pagination options for stores with more products. And you can play around with this and the options available. Here's another variation of it. These are four products that I specifically chose. So you might want to show this say on your homepage. As, as a visitor goes there and scrolls down a little bit, you might wanna show some of your popular products. So I hand selected these and I styled it up a little bit different. You can see that there's a different background color here. You can see they're only showing four and there's no pagination. So this is just to give you an idea of what you're gonna be able to accomplish using the product list capabilities inside of Surecart. You can have as many as these that you want and you can place them wherever you'd like on your website. Now, when you first install and activate Surecart, it's gonna automatically create a page named shop and it's gonna automatically throw the product list in here like that. So you'll probably want to start by going to the shop page that was created. So I'm gonna to go to pages and you can see it's right here. It's called shop and I'll click into that and you can change the name of it if you want. You can customize it based upon the theme options that you have. And here is the product list. And when you click into it, you'll have a variety of options here on the right. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those options. So the first one is how many columns? I have it set to three. How many products per page? I have it set to nine. Then do you want pagination? There's some options related to pagination. Do you want the sort options here on the top left? Do you want the search option that you see here on the top right? You could just toggle these on or off depending on how you want it to look. And then down here, you can choose the pagination font size. So when I scroll down, that's this right here. You could choose the font size. And then right here where it says products, you could choose if you only want to show specific products. There's also some styling options right here as it relates to spacing. If you want more spacing in between or less spacing in between the items, that's where this spacing comes in. Now, what's really nice is you also get the chance to customize the individual card for the product. So you can see I have the block selected and there's this icon right here. And when you click onto it, it switches and it shows you a single card. And this is where you can click into it and you can start making changes to fit your store. So for example, I'll click right here on the image. You might not want this image size for your products. You can click this and drag to change the image size. Or if you want a more precise resizing, there's an icon right here. You click on it and you can choose the aspect ratio of the image. Do you want it to be square? You could simply click there and now it's a perfect square. Or if you want something 16 by nine, it would be like that. So you have all of these options that you can choose from landscape to portrait. It's completely up to you, the size and aspect ratio of your images. Then we have these two text items here. You can click on them and you can choose the alignment. So you can see I have this left uh, center aligned, but if I wanted it to be left or right aligned, I could do it like that. And there's also some styling options you get here for the text, color, the size of the font, all of this, including some spacing options. So you can really dig in here and customize this how you want to customize it. 
The same thing goes for the product name. Just click on it and you can see I have some customizations that I've done right here. And you can also expand the list view options here to see all the different elements that make up the product item. And you can see there's options here off to the right for each of those. So back to the image, when I click on it, there's contain or cover options right here. There's border radius options that just apply to the image. So you can really drill down into this and start customizing it. I clicked on the entire product item right here and you can see we have padding options, we have background color options, and that is how I accomplished, where is it? This right here where I changed the background color option. So you have these right here as well as a border radius. So if I wanted to add a radius, and I believe I did around this faint color, you can do that. So there's lots of options here to get a nice style out of it that meets your brand. When you're done, you can just click on done and there it is. You can see I actually changed the height of that a little bit. So if I save it and go to the front end, it's going to look a little bit different. So this is how you can add a product list to your website. And like I said, these go great everywhere. You can put them on the shop page, obviously that's created automatically for you, but you can also put it on the home page, or you could put it maybe on the footer of your website, above the footer of your website. There's lots of options for what you can do here. You can add this wherever you want. There's also a short code option. We have documentation on our website for those of you that prefer a short code. Uh, you can use the short code and configure it through different parameters inside of that short code. So this is how you can customize the product list on your shop page.